Right, welcome YouTube, welcome people. I've got a bunch of cycling clothing and let me see, last winter I thought I'd invest in some of this uh, RH Plus. I've tried, you know, pretty much all the brands out there, the Castellis, the Asos, Polar Zoomies, Endura. Endura good, um, but that's another video. We're going to just focus on the RH Plus here. These are um, what they call bib knickers like three quarter length tights not full length they come down mid calf or below your calf these are size medium i run a pretty much medium and everything castelli um ass also runs some smalls and even some large if you want to bulk it out in the winter and wear the stuff underneath i got you know some different items for different situations but my main issue is right with stitching on shorts there's the pad there okay now, what I've gone and done is, I've gone and done some like lock stitches around. Yes, sewing's a good skill to have people, can save you some money, all right? I've gone and done some lock stitches around here because no matter what you do with cycle shorts, at some point or another, where you're moving around on the saddle, all right, it's gonna, you see here it's lifted, like the stitching's kind of let go on the other side where it's, it's worn, all right? And if you don't catch that early, basically the whole pad's going to, you know, see, the, the whole pad's, that's just where it's been wearing on the saddle. The whole pad's going to like, and the stitching's just going to go all the way around, which is, has happened before. So my question is to short manufacturers out there, cycle clothing manufacturers, all right, is why don't you? You need to be doing something with the stitching. You need to be in the factory like every inch even, or, you know, you need to be doing like lock stitches, meaning if, if if it goes or it lets go, it catches, it can't really go any further other than rip, but then if that's the case, then you are wearing a wrong size or something. I've never, never actually, I've actually worn, I have worn shorts through eventually, but these have got about 10 rides in them. They're a good pad, they're a good material. Again, I'm not faulting the actual, um, you know the brand and their quality of clothing they are second to none they really are nice it's just that it's let down with the stitching as you can see like all the way around okay there's not a lock stitch in sight um i've just gone and bought actually some um endure mt500 three quarters which i'm going to test out this winter um so i'll show you those in another video and then like come january or february we'll see how we've um gotten on how they fared up so I'll put a link down below to like uh, RH Plus and that. You can check them out, check out their clothing. Um, RH Plus, if you're watching, um, send me some more bib knickers. <laughs> um, I, I just don't understand what's going on with these. Um, I paid I paid 75 quid for these and I actually bought two pairs and this is the second pair it's happened on. The other pair are all stitched up as well because you know I could have sent them back but time I do that and package them up and post them out and stuff you know I mean then it's not like they're not a write-off but they would have been if they'd gone all the way around and I haven't caught it early so they're still usable um you know cycling kit's not really made to last it's obviously made it should be made to last longer than this has but um you know with the constant moving around on a saddle wet rides gritty rides you know road crud getting thrown up and that you're gonna uh gonna wear the, the stitching out eventually but I would have thought it'd been uh Slightly more than 10 rides. Anyway, thanks for watching. What's your, uh, you know, experiences with cycle clothing? Uh, let me know down below. Cheers.